Let's talk about Oob and his future in the Dragon Ball series. Hey guys, it's your girl Black Bulma and welcome back to my channel. You guys know we sit and talk everything Dragon Ball in the world of Akira Toriyama. So the Boo Saga really kind of handed us a whole lot on one huge silver platter. That came with fusions, Mystic Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, Majin Vegeta, just so many things. But the one thing I really want to focus on is Oob. Oob was introduced to us at the end of Z being as the reincarnation of Kid Boo. Now, I don't know if y'all been living under a rock or you just haven't watched the end of Dragon Ball Z, which I hope you did because there were more episodes after the Boo Saga. You will see that there was a mini tournament that happened where you will see Goku and Vegeta and a lot of the other Z Fighters preparing to fight in yet another tournament. Kind of similar to what you saw in OG Dragon Ball. But in this one, you see Goku going up against a mysterious fighter, which we all kind of found out was Oob, which again was the reincarnation of Boo. So the battle with Goku and Oob was very interesting. Seeing as though Goku had just already finished fighting the original version of the reincarnation which was Kid Boo, you can kind of tell that Goku was just trying to kind of survey him a little bit, analyze him, see his potential, his abilities, maybe even to see if he, he still had a little bit of that evilness inside of him. But you can kind of tell that Goku was just trying to see how powerful Oob was in this newly reincarnation form. And then after that he kind of just surmised that who was a candidate to be a defendant of Earth. And that's the reason why I want to make this video to talk about Ooze potential. We don't really have much lore on him. We've only seen him a couple of times, but the times that we have seen him, you can really kind of predict so many things with the character, especially the power that he used to have and the power that he has now. And besides the whole abandoning his family part, I really do think Goku was a great choice to help Oob unlock that hidden potential that he had, seeing as though Goku kind of already had a feeling of how powerful Oob was, and he could be able to push Oob to unlock the future future of his potential or anything else that Oob had or anything Goku could instill on him so I really think that that was a good idea to have Goku be the one to train Oob into who he could potentially be in the future. Now another moment I really wanted to talk about when it came to Oob in the very few moments we kind of see Oob is when he is in one of my favorite arcs which is the Moro arc. Oob appears at the end of the Moro arc assisting Goku to beat Moro. I hope that you guys have read the Moa arc. If not, it's okay. But Oob's role in the Moa arc just really kind of sets a tone to how much power Oob has that he probably can't even control right now or doesn't even know he has until it was kind of pushed out of him to assist Goku to turn Ultra Instinct to be able to defeat Moro. And during that time, Goku was gathering energy from at least everybody that was in the vicinity in the world or anyone who could assist them to stop Mo from destroying the planet. And of course, where Oob was, he reached his hand out. He gave Goku this immense amount of energy, just enough for him to be able to go back into his Ultra Instinct form. And you will see Goku turn into this... He, I don't even know if the form ever had a name. I don't know. Maybe someone could correct me in the comments. But um, he turns into this huge, gigantic um, Susano Goku. I know some people hate when I say it, it's, it's a Susano, But yes, he turns into Susano Goku. And then he's able to take out Planet Eater Moro. Now, I feel like that moment that happened in the mall arc really set a very high tone for Oob. I mean, all he did was stretch his arm out and he was able to help Goku not only give Goku the power, but also assist Goku in stopping this person who everybody was just, just gave up. They was just like, you know, we can't beat this dude. Like he's already fused with the planet. Goku could only go Super Saiyan Blue with how much energy people was giving him. Even Vegeta tried with his spirit vision to try to get some of those souls out of more, but that wasn't even helping. And then Oob just, he lifted his arm and then Goku was able to not only go um, Ultra Instinct, but turn into this huge giant um, UI beast and just take out one of the strongest opponents that was happening at that time. So I really feel like a lot of things can come out of Oob, especially with how much he helped and the amount of power that maybe he might have in the future. 
Now I feel like is the best time to really kind of capitalize on showing more of Oob. Now that we are past the Cell Max arc and we are just in new territory. We don't know what's going to happen after this arc. We know we have Black Frieza, but who knows how many fighters we have. And with someone like Oob who's able to insist in such a major way and has so much unlocked potential, I really feel like it's now or never to be able to integrate Oob into the Z fighter so that way he could train and he can unlock his potential and be a very seasoned fighter i really don't want oob to be a character that kind of falls off or ends up being a you know a background shadow character especially since how powerful he is i would love to see oob kind of be on a battlefield or just have some type of skills that can definitely help the z fighters in future battles i think the biggest challenge that'll probably come with developing oob is where are we going to set him in the power scaling Kind of department you know what i mean because it's already like a big uproar of gohan being um just as strong as his father and piccolo being strong and the gammas being strong imagine oob coming in and <laughs> you know he's just been training this entire time and now he's almost as powerful as goku and vegeta and broly and things like that so um i really think it's going to take a lot for um, you know, Oob just to be able to be integrated into the Z Fighters without, you know, fans outrage of him being too powerful or not powerful enough. So I really think, um, in my opinion, I feel like you, sh I feel like the creators or whoever is going to continue the Dragon Ball series should really focus on Oob's, um, ability to fight and his martial arts skills or any techniques or even any power he might have magical power or anything like that because obviously you know uh, Majin Buu or any version of Buu um, had magical prowess so it would be really nice to see any type of techniques or abilities that Oob can provide to Z fighters so that way when it is time to put Oob on some type of power scaling category it's actually reasonable and explainable. Now I'm not gonna lie I really would love to see the same trope that we saw at the end of Z still kind of happen maybe you know in this kind of new era um that we have in Dragon Ball Super now with Goku training Oob I still believe that Goku would still be the best teacher for Oob seeing as though again he already has past experiences with uh Oob's kind of prior um you know version of himself so I feel like Goku should still be able to train him um, in some type of way, make sure maybe even take them to the hyperbolic time chamber or the gravity room or something of that nature. I still think that things that happen in End of Z should come into Dragon Ball Super because I feel like it really just kind of flows a little bit. So I don't have no problem with seeing Goku kind of train Oob and see what potential he has and you know what he could do for the Z fighters. Like, come on now, I'm rooting for Oob. From being introduced to Oob in the End of Z and him fighting Goku to him you know going to go train with goku to be earth's defender to now him actually being earth's defender literally with him giving goku the power to save the planet i really just cannot wait to see oops future i really want to see him be very essential to the z fighters i don't want him to be a background character i feel like oob has so much potential especially with the things that he's done in such little bouts of the series you know what i mean so i would love to see uh whatever what the writers decide to do with oob i hope that it's very significant and he's not just kind of like that that uh, assist character because even though i didn't have a problem with what he did in the moral arc i feel like it was more of an introduction to uh what oob could do in the future but Let's give Oob a little bit more spotlight, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he has so much going on that I feel like he, he deserves it. He deserves to be on our front lines, especially if he's trained and he knows enough about battle um, and just fights and, and just honing his abilities. I feel like Oob would definitely be very essential. But let me know what you guys think about the potential of Oob, specifically where you think he should scale as far as power, who do you think should train him, and just what type of skills and things that you would love Oob to have in the future. I'm really interested in seeing Oob's future in the Dragon Ball series, fingers crossed. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching the entirety of this video. Of course, I love talking Dragon Ball with you guys and theories and seeing your thoughts. Leave a comment, like the video, and of course subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.